Hey, YouTubers. So, I'm actually not working today. I took pay time off today. I had a appointment today. So, big ass appointment like the big ass cigar. Just a doctor's appointment today. So, anyway, big ass doctor like the big ass cigar. So, We'll be doing a video right now, a uh, weird comments video right now. So, uh, weird single comments part 1,281. This comment said nice big ass comment like the big ass cigar. Yeah, big ass comment like the big ass cigar. A little bit of a tongue twister there. Yeah, big ass comment like the big ass cigar. And I can't believe how many comments I've done. I keep saying that crap. I mean, holy poop, it's like, you know, holy turds. I mean, a lot of comments. Big ass comments like the big ass cigar. So this comment said, enough dilly dallying, said, yeah, you're high. You need rehab. You know, screw you, dude. Screw you to hell. Ever to be friendly ass like the big ass cigar a douchebag it's like you know so what he's referring to is he thinks I'm high he thinks I'm under the influence of illegal or potentially controlled substances such as marijuana or you know cocaine or heroin or methamphetamine whatever and the reason why a lot of people not just him think I might be potentially high is because for example when I do my videos I have you know potentially dark circles under my eyes and you know that may be a symptom of being high on depressants like for example like marijuana or heroin when people are high on downers basically they appear really groggy and really like snowed under so uh, but obviously for the last damn time last damn time I've never done illegal drugs in my life every drug I've done in my life is either legal or has been legally prescribed to me so meaning my doctor you know big ass doctor like the big ass cigar has legally prescribed it to me you know I take sleeping medication and that's part of the reason why I do my videos in the morning on work days I come off as a little bit sleepy a little bit groggy groggy is because my medication makes me tired. I mean, God bless my medication. It helps me sleep, but it does make me a little bit sleepy and tired, and it does make me slur my speech a little bit. So, and yes, slurring your speech can be a symptom of being high. For example, you know, alcohol can make you slur your speech. Uh, potentially, cannabis can make you slur your speech. And other medications like benzodiazepines can make you slur your speech also. But in terms of like, and also like, for example, when I do videos and I'm a little bit excited, for example, I'm excited ass like the big ass cigar. I talk really, really fast. I might come off as being a little shaky, like my hands might shake a little bit. And that might just be because I had coffee recently. I mean, coffee can make you shake. I mean, fucking coffee can make you shake. But also, you know, he might think, oh, you're high on speed, you're taking meth, you know, you're using, you're smoking crack, you know, because those drugs, those uppers, you know, amphetamines can make you uh, really jittery and talk really fast. But obviously he's a douchebag. It's like, you know, he's an idiot. It's like, you know, he's an idiot. And what he's doing is making an assumption, you know, he's assuming, and as they say, never assume, believe it at that. It's like, you know, never assume, believe it at that. You shouldn't just assume just because somebody's a little bit like, hey guys, how you doing? They're automatically high. Or for example, somebody says, hey, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? You're a little bit manic, you know, they're automatically under the influence of crack or meth. So it's a bad idea to assume in general. Assuming really sucks in general. It's a bad idea to assume in general. Assuming sucks. Anyway, bye-bye.